on a Saturday morning. There is so much I need to get done today and tomorrow, aka the weekend, to make sure I am set up for se success during the work week. However, I'm so used to waking up early during the weekday that on the weekend my body still manages to wake up early. I'm not too bitter about it though because I'm actually a really big advocate of waking up early because you get so much more done waking up early via just staying up late and being tired. <laughs> We're about to head to work now. So this is not the first time I've taken Archer to work with me when I've had to work on a weekend. Nor will it be the last. I take Archer to work with me because having a dog there it makes it so much better to be there on the weekend. Archer is only a year old. Hey Archer. And he is so stressful. I need to get him to grow up just like a little bit just to be a little bit more mature Also, he likes to have the windows down um, in the back seat when it's winter time so he can stick his nose out But it's freezing outside Hey Archer, I'm gonna roll the window down just a little bit Just a little bit I'm gonna regret that once I get on the highway have work I have to do for my boss really quick. <laughs> Not really quick, it's gonna take me a couple hours. Okay, done with work. We're going to head out now. Cause I don't wanna be here anymore. So, first of all, <laughs> he's so cute. So this has me thinking, I should talk about having a stressful job. Cause I have to say, I do have a very stressful job and there are certain things that I do to make it less stressful. And so you know what? I'm gonna share them with you. Okay, I'm gonna try to film this the best way I can do as possible. So let's say you have your stressful job. The way I handle my stressful job is I find the one thing that gives me my motivation. Motivation to me is what helps me get through the day. I find the one thing that I love and I use that to give me motivation throughout the day. Now there's a couple things that I do to help through that process. First of all, I prioritize and I organize. This prioritization helps so much. So, if you look at here, and this will be coming out in my next one of my next videos, which is going to be how I organize my life. Here you'll see this list of just stuff that has to be get done through the week. So here's like the weekly planner, here's just a list of stuff. And then I take this list and I put it on a board and I prioritize it. And like I said, that'll be coming up in my next video, but prioritizing and organizing is also one way that I use that is very effective to get me where I need to be to be motivated for that stressful job. That prioritization gives me a list of due outs and deadlines. Those due outs and deadlines are what help me know this has to come first or that has to come first. And the reason I say that is because if you're like me and you have a job where everything just seems to be a priority, doesn't matter what it is, and if everything's a priority, then nothing is actually a priority. You have to do your job and it becomes sloppy and it becomes not the product that you actually envisioned or wanted it to be in your head. That's why it's important to prioritize and organize for that stressful job that you have to find that motivation to prioritize and organize, to get those due outs to help lead you to that stressful job. So what is your motivation? There can be many different motivations. Some of the most common is to impress your boss. Another one is getting the job done. Another one that's really common is feeling accomplished. Regardless of whatever your motivation is or whether it's not any of these and it's something else, whatever your motivation is, you need to know what your motivation is. That way you can help it fuel these other things to prioritize and organize, to give you the thing in your job that you absolutely just love, to help feed you that motivation, to help you deal with that stressful job. So I don't know if this diagram made any sense at all, if that helped you at all, but pretty much what I'm trying to say though is find that thing that you love at work. Find that thing that gives you that motivation, that drive. Find something that you absolutely love at your job and have that fuel 
whatever it is that you're going through. Stay tuned for my organizational video that's gonna be coming out about how I organize my life. So this isn't just gonna be my job. This is also gonna incorporate my personal life as well and how I organize that and keep that intact. There are a couple of other additional things that I do as well to kind of help with it. I put up motivational quotes on my whiteboard in my office. I change them out daily, honestly, just to keep it fresh and to keep me going. Another thing is I actually do listen to motivational speeches in the morning on my drive to work because it is like 4 a.m. and I'm thinking to myself, why am I doing this? And then what I do is I go on to YouTube and I find those motivational speech videos. I just download the audio version of it then I just sync it to my phone and I listen to that in the morning and honestly, that gets me pumped for work. That gets me going. Like I'm ready when I get there to like take on the day. One last thing that really helps me is I keep a clean workspace. Now I definitely keep a cleaner workspace at home than I do at work. At work, I actually didn't really start implementing this until recently to like clean off my desk and stuff when I leave the office for the day. That honestly has just been really helpful into keeping a clear mindset when I come back to work to help with, it, with that stressful job because like I said, I'm gonna take that whiteboard that I cleaned off the night before and I'm going to splatter and organize what I need on it to finish the job for the day or for the week or whatever it is that I'm working on, whatever project it is. So those are just some quick helpful tips and tricks that I have used personally to get through a very stressful job. And now you might be asking, well, if your job is so stressful, then why do you do it? Just because it's stressful doesn't mean I don't like it. I like my job a lot, actually. Um, is it my ideal job that I'll keep forever? I don't know, we'll see. But I will say that I really like it and I want to do a good job. However, it comes with a really high op tempo and it's very stressful. Therefore, to keep it at a manageable stress level, you have to put systems in place so that you don't lose your mind. There's so many priorities in my job and so you have to be able to pick and choose and how you handle the situation to move forward. So I hope that little diagram and list helped you at all whatsoever. Hey, hey, are you sleeping? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Real talk for a second. So I told Will last night, I was like, you know what? I want to watch that movie Homeward Bound. I know it's super old, but I want to watch it. And so I found it on the internet because like Netflix didn't have it, Hulu didn't have it, nothing had it. And I started watching it. Guys, I lost it. I'm still only like halfway through about the part where they just got out of the pound. But like brought back so many memories of when I was a kid and I had this one dog as a kid named Blackie. Blackie was my dog. Well, she was a family dog, but I had her from when I was seven till about 18. Right when I left for college is whenever she died because she was so old at that time. And I watched this movie and it just brings back all those memories of my old dog. And then, so you guys don't know this, but I have, I'm gonna pull it up here, on YouTube, a, two private videos of my cat from when um, she, we had to put her down because she had cancer. She was, she was dying and so we had to put her down. And so I had made two videos when I was 17 uh, and I say that in the video, like, I am 17. The week before we put her down. And it has both my cat and the dog in it. And guys, like, oh my gosh, to rewatch that was so sad. Here, I'm gonna show you guys a clip. Guys, so if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll know that um, my little kitty has cancer. So um, I just wanted to make a quick video of my time with her in the last week that I have her. Um, more of kind of personal thing for me so yeah just wanna be with my little kitty so go over here yeah now I'm not quite sure if I should show you guys the cancer spot but here's my kitty let me flip the camera so I can see yeah so watching Homeward Bound and then watching this old video of 17 year old me being spending my last couple moments with my cat and my dog later on makes an appearance in the video. It was just so heart tugging. Oh my gosh. So hey, if you're a kid, when I say a kid, like just younger than 18, if you're a kid and you have a pet, just like love that thing because I had a moment with Archibald. I will definitely say we had a moment. I was like, you're not my dog. You're not my old dog, but um, I still love you. And then I had a I had a moment with Furball over there, Kitty, because I was like, you're not cute, but uh, I still love you. So yeah, you know what? Appreciate your pets because they're not going to be around forever. I have to say, I think some of the best memories I had when I was a kid was with my pets. Like my, we had a 
lot of land growing up and my dog would come out with me and go exploring on the land or I would just play with my cats. So my, I had two cats and they were outdoor cats and one belonged to my brother but Kiwi belonged to me, the white one that I just showed you and she was so sassy but she would just love, she just loved to cuddle and love up on you and yeah, he's not like that at all. He does not cuddle with you at all. <laughs> um, Will has been out hunting and he is on his way back. We're gonna grab dinner, yeah, and we're gonna go see a movie tonight with some friends. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go pick up dinner. I wanna take the cat with me because the cat likes car rides. Okay, can I have two chicken quesaritos and then one ch uh, chicken quesadilla? Uh, can I also have a Mountain Dew Blast, please? A uh, fountain drink, and can you make that too? It's so funny, this girl, like I was driving or whatever, and this girl pulls up in a Jeep and sees Bartholomew peeking his head out the window, and she is like freaking out smiling and whips out her camera and takes a picture of him. While I was driving to Taco Bell. Honey, you're becoming a crazy cat lady. I'm not a crazy cat lady, he's just so cute. Okay, so Will is finally back, and we are mm. we are on our way to mm. movie theaters with our friends to see what Boo Medea movie. Okay, so we just got out. We watched the Medea movie. I thought it was really funny. What did you think? It was really good. It was really funny. I've never seen the any of the other ones. I heard that some are good, some are bad, but it was really nice. So first we're gonna end the night by watching Homeward Bound. I told Will about it and I really want him to watch it. So we're gonna finish that up and then we're going to bed. That's it for this vlog today.